Entonces... Sí, mom, es fácil. No, mom. No, you messed it up. Sí, mom. Mom, no, you can do it. Just go. Welcome to the kitchen at Palmer's Progress. Today, we are starting to feel a little more wintry with our clothing and outside. Things are frozen. We have a little bit of snow on the ground. And to celebrate the caribou I see every time I make my way to work as they are going to their wintering grounds, I decided to wear a little something that reminded me of the caribou. Today we are making a flourless chocolate hazelnut cake. <laughs> and so to start, um, we're going to go ahead and grab our hazelnuts over here. And we have the oven at 350 and we'll be cooking them for about 10 minutes to roast them. Oh, okay, wait, wait, okay, so. So boom, nope, oh, nope. Oh, wrong way. Nope. <laughs> okay, just start over, it's okay, no, just, so we have the hazelnuts in the oven and they are getting toasty and um, now we get to uh, move on to melting our chocolate for the cake. And Lily's going to go ahead and show us how to do that. So you're going to add your chocolate into your double boiler which is just water in a pot and then you add a bowl on top so and then we're just going to stir this around a little bit. It's starting to melt as you can see because the water is so hot. So we have our hazelnuts all, all roasted and we're going to take them out and let them cool a little bit and then rub off the skins and our tea towel over here. Definitely a lot browner here. Hot pan. You can see the steam coming off of them, or might be a little smoke. <laughs> the oil's coming out of the hazelnuts. Alright, we're going to let them cool for about three or four minutes, and then uh, we'll show you what's next. Alright, so our hazelnuts are cooled down a little bit, and now we're going to wrap them in our tea towel and just rub off the skin. pull out the ones that have the skins off and put them in my blender so we can start making that hazelnut flour. You gotta hurry and get the skins off of the hazelnuts before the chocolate hardens. It's a race against time. And we're going to pulse until it is it, it resembles coarse sand. Like coarse sand? Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay. You don't want hazelnut butter. So right. right. All right, so now it's time to add the hazelnut flour to our chocolate. Here, I'll give this. After this, it's crunchy Nutella. I'm, I call licking the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> and butter. Uh-oh. Oh no. Mom, it's fine. We just add the butter. Okay. And put it back, back over. The, <laughs> the butter. The butter. We forgot to just the butter add with the, the butter. Oh, we'll see how this turns out. It's... Oh, I just squeaked. Chocolate is very sensitive, so we'll see how what happens with this. Read, reread, and triple read directions. 
Right, hun? Yep. <laughs> I want to share with everybody that we are not chefs here. We are not cooks, but uh, we wanted to share recipes with friends and with people out there um, as a mother-daughter, cooking together and maybe making some mistakes along the way and learning from you guys um, a better way to do this or that. Um, but really it's about sharing a good recipe, but also uh, our time together in the kitchen. How did it turn out? Chocolate turned out great. Oh good. Phew. <laughs> Tragedy uh, saved. saved. <laughs> Alright, well now it's time to work with our eggs here. We have five eggs. Um, we're going to separate four of them. And then We'll add some sugar in our big bowl here and mix it till it's nice and frothy. So this is how I do uh, separating these eggs. The whites will go into here. I'm curious if anybody has the different way they do this. This is just how I've always done it. So we separated four of the five eggs and we're going to set this one aside. It's going to go with the egg yolks. We can, yeah. Do you want to do A whole egg along with four egg yolks. All right, and then we'll add our sugar. And whisk away, my dear. She's whisking the, uh, the sugar and the egg yolks is to dissolve all the sugar in there. So that takes a little time. Another thing that's going to take some time here is uh, the egg whites. We're going to mix those until they form stiff peaks. And as we know from our last bake, it takes a, little, uh, it takes a while. So we're going to get started on that. That was a lot faster than I was thought it was going to be. Right, look at that. Those are stiff peaks. All right. So now that this is cooled, is the sugar dissolved yet? Yeah, almost. All right, a little bit longer. You definitely want your chocolate and hazelnut mix to be cool so it doesn't cook the eggs. It will. All right, do you want me to stir a little bit or do you want to keep going? Okay, where are you going? We must accomplish the goal. The light. Well, I can go ahead and grease the pan. What do you think? Is that? What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna be patient. It's not good enough. I mean, we can see the granules. I know, but I've been mixing for so long. All right, I think the chocolate is cool enough and our sugar is dissolved. So we can mix the two. <laughs> fold in our egg whites. It's been really fun lately to be cooking without baking powder and baking soda, although there are times for that. Um, but they haven't always been around. An egg 
these fluffy egg whites are part of what give the cake its volume. Vol yeah, right. It makes less dense, but you have to do it carefully. Um, so I'm going to fold these in until it's a uniform color. Oh, wow. <laughs> Definitely stiff peaks. Yeah. Makes me think of the ice in the river right now. Slowly forming. <laughs> Right, and then from here it'll go into the cake pan and we have the oven at 350. 350. All right so we have a uniform color here it's time to put it in the pan we have our oven at 350 and we'll let it bake for 45 minutes chocolate hazelnuts so I thought oh I hope it's not overcooked or anything so we peeked inside to see how it's doing it's definitely still needs that next 15 minutes I know we're not supposed to open the oven so we should have just turned the light on <laughs> all right I just checked on the cake and we are going to go to our next step the toppings um, so we have three slices of candied orange here and we're going to chop them up very fine and we'll add that to uh, some creme fraiche that we are going to have on top of the cake. Mm, come smell these. I love chopping these. <laughs> Mincing is my, my favorite job. Okay, uh, it's done to me. We'll do a little test to make sure it's done all the way through. Oh, looks good. See if any batter sticks to it. Ah. Huh? Looks but like it's no, it's that's what it's supposed to look like. Right, because yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. It looks okay. like it's done. Okay. <laughs> no, no. The bottom came out. <laughs> okay, you got this, Lily. You got this. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Quickly flip okay. it over. Oh. Okay. Maybe we should let it cool up. <clears throat> oh. We're gonna take the cake and put it on the platter. And Lily's using a spatula to make sure it's not sticking to the cooling rack. That's pretty sturdy. <laughs> All right, and then I'm, uh, I have some creme fraiche here. I'm gonna put it in this bowl and we're gonna whip it up. And then after it fluffs up a, a little bit, we'll go ahead and add the orange, candied orange. And we're gonna sweeten it with a little bit of maple syrup. Ooh, yes, I forgot about that. You can add the maple syrup, I don't wanna whisk it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty risky. I mean, risky. Come on, I think we should add most of this in and then save a little bit to sprinkle on the top. Ooh, I like that. Think 
about putting it in one of the uh, icing things, putting a dollop on each piece. Right? Something like that. Watch out for the knives. <laughs> Your gloves, your fingers tips you know, are all cold. Yeah, when you get past that where you're all warm from running and putting the um, harnesses on all the tops and everything, after the, yeah, that's... Getting out the gate is the fun because you're going so fast and you, you're all warm from getting all the dogs ready and they just go, you know, and it's quiet to get them your home. <laughs> I don't like appreciating quiet after they get so loud. Yeah. Oh. Time to put the topping on the cake. Mm -hmm. Creme fraiche with some candied orange. Sweetened with some maple syrup. to dessert. <laughs> we left about a tablespoon out so we could sprinkle it on the top. Very good idea. Lily, I can cover it with all Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What do you think? That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> so we're gonna brew some tea and get out the Russian tea set and have some dessert. That's pretty good. Time for some sauerkraut and brats and a little bit of the black bread that we made today. <laughs> I worked at a camp in Russia, and at mealtime we'd, we'd all lined up, get our food, sit down, and we usually had some kind of sausage and a black bread and butter. Anyway, the kids would sit down. I mean, it was seconds. Their food was gone because they were ready to go play. And I just remember sitting there by myself often because everybody ate so quickly. Anyway, but this is a really common meal. The black bread and the sausages and some sauerkraut. And the butter, that's super important. <laughs> oh wow, good bread. <laughs> this loaf um, weighs three pounds and five ounces. <laughs> it's it's pretty darn dense. It's a hefty loaf. Yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, oh, it makes me think of going to the pub and. Prost in Seattle. All right, we just finished out a lovely dinner and now it's time for some dessert and tea for the ladies. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 
pull the top off here. Ooh. Lily's gonna pour us some tea. Chocolate hazelnut flowers cake. A creme fresh top. Some candied oranges. Ooh. Lucy and Elkie, uh, would you like to come in and have some? Mm, yes, yes, yes. So this is my Russian tea set that I traveled all the way to Russia to, <laughs> to bring back. There we go. Finally using it. Alright ladies, should we take a bite? <laughs> Too sweet, so it's just perfect. just lightens the chocolate a bit. Mm -hmm. Tea is very hot, so mm -hmm. be cautious. This is a wonderful way to welcome in winter, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> I think we'll have many. Hey, what are you doing in here? <laughs> very good. All right, till next time. <laughs>